Hi, welcome. It's um, Saturday, 20 January of 2022. And as usual, updates will always hit our distro. And it's all about Archlex making decisions and choices as we, as you, make choices every day. They have changed something to the Linux firmware. And there's an even latest news so this is the first place you go to and read if there is anything right so if you look at the code and the explanation that it says here it's gonna be to be to have less uh, disk space and split packages into bits and pieces that's all good and we were actually quite content really with the setup that we've done and this is why we were content or happy or however you want to call it. If you make the make in it CPO, if you make the most important parts that boot up your system, we did not see any warnings anymore. So all these packages are just saying everything is built, right? But if, and that's the thing, if you update today, you get this big split, the Linux firmware here and the Linux firmware wins. And there is even more. So there are many more other stuff. So it says here 600 megabytes less net upgrade size is minus. And that's the Linux firmware. So we have now a very compressed, minute, smaller piece of Linux firmware, which results in more warnings. So it is what it is. It's just a warning. And it may be interesting as well to show you this as well can't be enough videos that distros are created for all variety of hardware out there right because we want to have support for as many possible network cards graphical drivers uh, bluetooth devices i don't know any piece of your hardware and one of the things i immediately see here i can get rid of the broadcom wireless card because i don't have a broadcom wireless nor do i have a real tech 8168 so after installation pay attention to the things that are installed on your system and remove it if you say oh, well i don't have that one broadcom wl dkms can go for me and r816 and so on dkms can go as well but i'll do it later first install install and this is why i'm saying it because it takes time it takes time to build these packages. And this is why we're having this video. When we ask sudo make init CPIO, we get this. And we were so glad, right? Our warnings were gone because we've added some packages to our ISOs from January 2022. Linux, Arch Linux uh, decides to split the packages on firmware. We got now a lot of packages. Let's do the update, right? First, always get the database in, the database of all the packages online. And then you can try and see, oh, sorry, Linux firmware. And it doesn't end there. Voila. We have now BNX Liquidio and Marvel and Mellanox and FP and so on. And I just experimented, trial and error. Nobody explains me anything, but these guys, are gone if you install QLogic. Simple as that, trial and error. So I said, okay, so if I don't want to see these warnings, I mean, they're benign, it's okay to keep them. If you're not so frustrated by, the, by these lines, don't follow my steps, don't do this, right? But if, I, if you don't want to see it and have back the normal look, it costs us only 12 megabytes. What happens then? You get some more firmware specific information for your system. And more importantly, if you do your updates and specifically if there is something that triggers, triggers to create these files again, these files that are located in your boot folder, this warnings are gone again. So we'll add this particular package to our ISO and um, we will never see the warnings. Up to you to decide if you follow my steps and uh, enjoy Arclix. Cheers.